Well, good morning. I'm Dan Graham. I'm the developer for uh, ATM. And um, I want to have this is going to be the first of a series of very short videos illustrating the, the kind of maybe the most important aspects of ATM. It's Thursday morning, um, March the 14th, uh, 2019. And I want to begin by illustrating how the editor works because it is probably the hardest thing to describe in words. So we're looking at a brand new installation. No reminders of any type have been created thus far, so this will be the first. Uh, so to create a new item, I can either go to the um, editor in the menu and click on create new item or I could have just pressed uh, shift in anyway the editor panel opens and this is characteristic of how it works there it's split in the top uh, you get a prompt and feedback on what you've entered and in the bottom you actually make the entry so we're being prompted to enter an item type from asterisk minus sign percent sign or exclamation point and we'll create an event today, so we'll enter the asterisk. Brief item description. Tennis. And press the add key. Uh, we want this, we can see that at the top that a required entry is the add s for start, starting time. So we'll start with that. Add s. Um, nine. He thinks I mean Saturday, March the 9th. I add an A. Oh, it understands now that I mean 9 a.m. today. But I don't. I mean 9 a.m. this coming Friday, tomorrow. And as soon as I type in the FRI, it sees that that's the correct the date. And so I'm always getting the confirmation of exactly what ETM interprets uh, my entry to mean. And I want this event to extend for a period of 90 minutes. You can see uh, extent at E is in the list. 90 minutes. It interprets it correctly as an hour and a half. And I actually want this event to repeat. So I'm going to push the at R for rep repetition. And it wants to know the frequency. I want this to repeat monthly, M, but not on every Friday in the month, only on the weekdays at W that correspond to either the first Friday or the third Friday in the month. At this point, I can press Control R if I like to um, see what repetitions that I'm going to generate with this just to make sure it's what I had in mind that looks good and so now I can press control s to save and there it appears and so you get a good idea of just you're always being prompted just in time for the information that you need at that point to complete an entry it shouldn't it actually works pretty simply, and when you get used to it, of course, you never even look at the prompts. You just, you know when you enter things, but it doesn't get in the way. That's all for today. Thank you.